Hi, I'm Dave from Pale Horse Zero Custom Firearms and Coatings. In this video, I'm going to go over my experience at the Big Run Ranch with Olmstead Risk Solutions, as well as show you guys this rifle I brought down here with me and show you how well it held up. So stand by for that. my latest build uh, that I brought with me to uh, the Big Run Ranch uh, for the Defensive Preparedness Summit uh, hosted by Lance Olmstead with Olmstead Risk Solutions. Uh, I'm going to talk more about this gun here but first I just kind of want to cover uh, my experience down there at the Big Run Ranch with uh, Olmstead Risk Solutions. Uh, first off it was great training experience. Uh, we were invited down there myself, um, Chris Kufos from Kufos Emergency Resources and then we had Matt Stover from the Missouri Department of Corrections come down there to kind of go over just some new training objectives uh, and try to help him uh, develop new courses and fire and things like that down there uh, at the Big Run Ranch. Um, we spent about 10 hours a day shooting, uh, developing new uh, courses of fire uh, and then actually running through those courses of fire individually uh, to make sure that everything worked out, everything played out real safe and, uh, and it was effective training too. Uh, he's got a sweet range down there. Um, it's hilly wooded terrain uh, it's perfect for movement to contact all that kind of stuff you're moving through uneven terrains up hills it's, it fatigues you it uh, keeps you off you know you're not on flat surface the whole time so you got a really good training uh, training uh, uh, skills down there um, you got he's got lanes of fire to even shoot up to 300 yards things like that um, if you're interested in training with him you can go to his webpage at olmsteadristsolutions.com um, also down there with uh, Kufos Emergency Resources, Chris Kufos, you can check out his blogs at uh, kufosemergencyresource.blogspot.com uh, and he's got gear reviews, he's got weapon safety, uh, and he kind of keeps up to date on all the new training, things like that, he blogs on all that kind of stuff. Um, real good blog to read if you guys are interested in reading blogs. Um, now we'll go over, I guess, this weapon I brought down here with me. Uh, this is something I threw together to bring down to show off to those guys, uh, show them what I do uh, and what kind of product and what kind of quality product that I can produce and things like that. So we'll go over the weapon itself, what I got on here, and then we'll go over how well it held up uh, in the environment that we had down there. So basically, this is just a DPMS platform. It's an A15 DPMS with a flat top receiver. Um, it had a regular fixed buttstock on there. I went ahead and threw the uh, M4 six position buttstock on there. Um, it's got the Knight, uh, Knight's Armament Micro 600 uh, rear flip up sights. This sight is very good sight. Uh, it's very easy to manipulate um, as far as windage and elevation. Um, I also put on the Knight's Armament uh, M4 Carbine RAS, the rail adapter system on here. And this uh, is a really nice system. This is what actually came comes on the M4s in the military. Um, and then I also put a mock suppressor on here and this is basically just for looks. It's just a mock suppressor. It doesn't have uh, suppressing capabilities or anything like that. I kind of just threw that on there to kind of give it the look of a suppressor and to show you that the, the coating and stuff like that on a suppressor as well. Um, I coated the plastics, the rail covers, as well as the rail itself. So, that, you know, attention to detail, things like that. So if you want to take the uh, rail covers off and mount a flashlight on here, you still got the coating on there. You still got the look. Um, uh, as far as how it held up, very good. This coating, it's a Cerakote coating I put on here. It's a forest green with a desert tan uh, and then the graphite black accents and this coating held up really well. It was put through some pretty rigorous conditions. Uh, probably about a thousand rounds fired through it this weekend. Um, the brass deflector, everything, the bolt itself, I coat the bolt as well as, well as the uh, ejection port cover on here. But you see the bolt, it's still got the coating on it. It's still held up very good even with the tight tolerances on the ARs. The brass deflector held up really well. There's no there's no scuffs or marks on it as of yet. As far as the brass uh, hitting off the brass deflector, didn't chip away uh, the coating or anything like that. Very held up very well. Put it through the test and it held up very nicely. So um, it looks good. I, I think it's a very good looking gun. Um, if you're interested in getting these coatings, you can go to my webpage. Or uh, if you're interested in having me build a custom gun or actually or uh, refurbish a gun that you own right now. You can go to my webpage at palehorsezero.com, and that's my webpage. Uh, you can also follow me on Facebook. Uh, I try to post on Facebook as much as possible as far as 
builds that I've just completed or future builds that I'm going to be building. Um, and I, uh, I like the input that I get back to as well on uh, Facebook. You can like me on Facebook. It's uh, facebook.com backslash uh, palehorse0. Um, so you can find me, like I said, palehorse0.com. I got pricing, I got color information, I got pictures posted on that webpage as well. Or you can follow me on Facebook at facebook.com backslash palehorse0.